He'll show. How long's it been? This. It's going on two weeks. And the verdict? Jury's still out. I sure could go for a real cigarette. Don't, don't give up. Not now, man. Don't be a quitter. Why the hell am I trying to quit smoking? Sims doing there. Is she serious? Are you serious? L li listen, lady, you already had me talking into a damn microphone. If you want to know something I already told you, just rewind the damn tape. I mean, I, I recovered all this last week. You think this is a game? I mean, we wouldn't be here if we weren't serious. First of all, Jack, you're going to address me as detective. Hell, I'll even let you call me Alex. But don't you dare call me lady. Now, I'm here because you and Detective Sims went on an unauthorized bust. Now, I'd love to be questioning him, but, oh yeah, he's not here. I have some questions for you. Look, I give my narcs a loose leash, all right? They have my total cooperation and authorization. They can proceed with any and all investigative leads. I'll get to you later. Yeah, well, I can't wait. First of all, I didn't say we were on a bust. I said we were meeting an informant. Like, do y'all know what the difference is? I mean, do y'all have any idea what real police work entails? Well, I know what you're supposed to do. You don't know squat, lady. And if you actually did some real police work instead of trying to fry those of us who do, you might have a clue. Y you know what, I I'm done. Sit down, now. Listen, Jack, I'm gonna tell you when you get to leave. I'm gonna tell you when you can scratch an itch. How am I even gonna tell you when you've got an itch? Do you get it? Do I make myself clear? Sure. What is your problem, man? What are you trying to hide? Are, are all of you this stupid? I mean, seriously, I just watched my friend die. Like, I, I held him in my arms as he took his last breath, and, and now you guys wanna sit here and question my integrity? Oh, we've seen your record, detective. You're one step closer to being a criminal than some of those people you arrest. So, shall we start again? You were there to meet an informant. That's what I said. And he was running late. Continue. Them, Baker. It's the guys I was telling you about. They wanted me to rat you out, but I couldn't do that to you, man. I, I love you, man. So your informant ratted you out? Yeah. Is that when the shooting started? No. What's this? Do you know who I am? I'm running the business now. I thought I'd introduce myself. Victor? Donato. I think you know my uncle Hector, no? I retired him. It's tough for evolution. So, tell me what happened. We took cover and began to return fire. I looked over at Shane. Uh, Detective Sims, and he was already down. So you immediately called for backup? No, I was too busy dodging bullets. Ow! So, how did it go? It went. Some great picks there, right? Thanks. Are they still trying to blame you for Shane's death? Yeah, I still think I'm the blame. Okay. More coffee? Please. Yeah, the video feature's pretty cool. I can't wait to show you the first video I shot. Yeah? I can't wait to see it. 
Please excuse my partner. He's not much of a morning person. First of all, Miss Simmons, we'd like to send our condolences to you for your loss. Is the apartment ha helping out with the funeral arrangements? Mm -hmm. Good. So tell me, what can you tell us about your relationship with Jack Martin? What do you want to know? Was he involved in any illegal activities? Not that I know of. Your husband and Jack, it was pretty close, right? <sighs> My husband... They were best friends. You don't think it's possible he had something to do with Shane's death, do you? Absolutely not. They served three tours in Iraq together. After that, they went to the academy together. They did everything together. How long ago was that? They've been partners about seven years. What was Detective Sims' mood on the day of his... the day he departed? He was quiet. He usually is in the mornings. Anything unusual? Mm -mm. Did Detective Sims have any, had any beef with anyone? You know, Shane didn't talk about work. To me, he didn't want me to worry. So, I really don't know. When was the last time you saw Jack? I see him every day. Every day? That's all. He and his wife are helping me through this. You know, I don't want to seem rude, but I did answer these questions last week. Thank you for your time, Miss Sims. If you think of anything, please feel free to contact me. I don't care what you do, Victoria. Just make Angel do it. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> What's going on? Why? Son of a Why? Let me, let me explain. You? Let me explain. He's late. Did you hear me? What's with you? I know, Jack. You know what? About you and Kathy. That's him. We were there. Something wasn't right, though. Our deal was with Hector. And Shane, he, he was tensing up. Like, he was breathing all heavy. And one of Victor's guys drops a large duffel bag at his feet, and out of nowhere, Shane draws on Victor. He told Victor that the deal stays the same or he would kill him. And I tried to talk him into lowering his weapon. 
just he just lost it and, and shot our informant. I I walked over to check his pulse and he was already gone. And Shane was just mumbling to himself and, and I I couldn't make out what he was saying. I looked back and he, he had the gun pointed at my head. He, he said he was he was gonna tell Veronica and he, I knew he was gonna kill me. And that's when I shot. Oh my god, I killed him. I'm so sorry, Kathy. How did he find out? I told him. Veronica, what are you doing here? I see you got to watch my first video. You sent it? How long have you known? A few weeks. I was hurt. And I was angry. I actually blamed myself. Was it something I did wrong? It's not your fault. You're damn right it's not my fault! You know I met with Shane the day that you killed him. I showed him the pictures right before you pulled up. Oh, you forgot that I happened to be married to a detective? You two didn't think I'd find out, did you? Just put the gun down. We Shane stop. also told me about the money you two have been collecting. I was going to go to the cops with my new wealth of information, but sending you to jail just isn't good enough. Just, just calm down, just put the... Just... <laughs> what the? Dude, just calm down. Oh, I'm calm. I just want to see the pain in your eyes, kind of like what I've had to face every day I look in the mirror. Toss me your keys. What? Your keys. The duffel bag, it's in the trunk, right? I d uh... Toss me your keys. I won't ask again. Just, just calm down, like... We can figure this out. I mean, I, I, I did this for us. Right. Wait. Yeah, us, right? So much you love me. Just shut up. Just put put the gun down and we can talk about it. What are you doing, Veronica? You're, what, you're gonna shoot me? Being a police officer is more than just wearing a gun and a badge. It's protecting people who can't protect themselves. We're keeping the criminals behind bars. Every day the streets take something from you, and every day they give it back, only worse. And it slowly chips away at your soul. As police officers, we are held to a higher standard. We're supposed to uphold the law, be better than the law. We walk a thin blue line. It's a balancing act we face every day. Victor? Yeah. It's done. It's not a matter of okay. if you'll slip, but when. And when you do, you too will be wearing a darker shade of blue.